friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a hyper mature cataract let us observe surgical management of this case this is the main incision at around 135 degree at around 10:30 o'clock with a 2.8 mm steel keratom and now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision in this case i have made only one side port and now since the cataract is white we cannot get any red glow and i have stained the anterior capsule with this tripan blue dye underneath this air bubble and then the dye is washed out with pss this cataract we can see this is a hyper mature cataract but at this time it is neither intumescent nor there is any milky fluid so it can be called hyper mature sclerotic cataract probably the cataract was intumescent few months back fluid has absorbed and now the cataract has become sclerotic so in such cases we can do capsulorexis at on go so i made a flap a capsular tag now i hold this capsular tag with utrita forceps go anti clockwise and since the cataract is quite hard i'm going to make a large rexis say size of the rexis will be about 5.75 to 6 mm rexis is done and now since it is a sclerotic cataract the lens matter is firmly adherent to the capsule so i have decided to do hydro dissection hydro dissection is being done at multiple points small amounts of fluid is being injected at two three points the fluid has been injected this is the fourth point and now the nucleus is gently mobilized and i find that the nucleus is nicely rotating visco is injected this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose now the tip of the feco handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber bevel is down some superficial lens matter is removed and now i'm going to do direct chop the tip of the handpiece is buried into the substance of the nucleus the fecal needle travels through the nucleus for some distance and then i divide the nucleus into two halves again it is the same way it is divided the hemineucleus is chopped at another place though the nucleus is quite hard it is quite brittle so it is getting chopped very easily there is no leathery fibers so these cases are not difficult to chop and not difficult to emulsify the scatter nucleus though it is we can say grade 4 nuclear sclerosis still we can emulsify it very nicely with about 75% of ultrasonic energy and that was the feco energy in this case ultrasonic energy flow rate was 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury 
and the nucleus is this is the la last nuclear base and see the all around there is some material this is the degenerated epinucleus and cortex so the cortex epinucleus most of it has been removed and very little cortical matter is remaining in this case some more visco 2% SPMC is injected into the anterior chamber and then this is a 23G Simco with the help of this Simco the cortex is being removed so most of the cortex except the cortex in the sub incisional area has been removed in this case only there is on side port so I didn't use by manual and the side port is not very big it's a 23G Simco so we can go through a small side port say about 1.6 or 1.7 millimeter side port and now this is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens this is a beautiful lens and the lens is going into the capsular bag yes the lens has gone into the capsular bag and now the haptics are placed about three clock hours away from the main incision so that I can go behind the IOL and remove any visco molecules if it is there. Now the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydrogen. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber with the Simco 23G Simco. First, I irrigate PSAs for some time and then I irrigate and aspirate. Then I come at the main wound. Then, at this time, I only irrigate and give a forward push and then come out. In this case, I find that the intraocular pressure is on the lower side so I'm going to inject some more BSS in this way clean the side port and only on flow of the uh, bimanual irrigating probe is directed towards the anterior chamber and the anterior chamber is nicely formed Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will inspire you to take up challenging cases.